Yellowstone actor Jefferson White provided insight into the filming of the historical Western drama. The Jimmy Star revealed that writers allow them to improvise on set and encourage them to let scenes take their natural shape. Now, White has shed light on the filming process for the popular Western drama Yellowstone. Now stay tuned to find out all the information you need to know, along with some Yellowstone Season 5 updates. And trust us, you don't want to miss this. First up, Jimmy opens up about the improvised bunkhouse scenes. Here's what you need to know. Yellowstone actor Jefferson White discussed the filming process for the historical Western drama. The Jimmy star revealed that writers allow them to improvise on set and encourage them to let scenes unfold naturally. The star assured fans that the writers give the cast plenty of leeway to let scenes take on their own natural form rather than strictly adhering to scripts. Taylor Sheridan is an expert at keeping plot details hidden, but unlike the show's creator, actors are a little more open. Jefferson credits the show's success to the atmosphere on set, which he attributes to the writers' trust in cast members. I was scared and intimidated by the process. I'm surrounded by these brilliant, brilliant cowboys, these performers with mythic qualities," he continued. Jimmy is thrust into difficult new circumstances, mirroring my own experience on the show. From character arcs to plotline twists, the actor was thrown into the deep end and kept guessing throughout his Yellowstone journey. The Jimmy actor recalls the freedom he was given to bring his storyline to life in the bunkhouse scenes when speaking about the immersive experience. As they messed around in the scenes together, Jefferson's character and the other cowhands improvised their dialogue. We get to riff and deviate from the script, he said. He understands how to shape that improvisation on the day and in the editing room to create the atmosphere he was writing towards. Jimmy joined the show and quickly underwent one of the ranch's most significant personal transformations. He began as a drug-addled newcomer, but quickly rose through the ranks to become an old pro. The actor reflected on his own similar experience to his character in terms of understanding horses and how to act around them. I had no idea what to expect, he recalled. Speaking of Yellowstone, here's what you need to know about Season 5. Following an interminable period of no news about Yellowstone's future, Paramount Network has provided fans with plenty to be excited about in recent months. The network officially announced in early February that the mega-hit ranching drama will return for a fifth season and then added to the excitement by revealing that the fifth season will be supersized. According to online sources, Yellowstone's upcoming season will include four more episodes for a total of 14 divided into two seven-episode installments. Kelly Riley, who plays the show's deliciously cutthroat Beth Dutton, opened up to Vulture in June about Season 5, dropping some tantalizing hints about the upcoming season. In response to whether John Dutton, played by Kevin Costner, will win the Montana governorship as he promised in Season 4, Riley stated, I will say that as the kingdom grows larger, it becomes more difficult to manage. Meanwhile, while some obvious villains may have been eliminated in Season 4, she claims that there are plenty of new adversaries pursuing the Duttons and their ranch, including some that are reminiscent of the real world. Fans will be relieved to hear this, even though Paramount has yet to announce any official plans for the show's future. Here's what we know about Yellowstone's Season 5 so far. So when will Season 5 be released? <laughs> Let's get right to the point. Yellowstone will debut on November 13th. It's later in the year than fans are used to, but the show is expanding its typical 10-episode order to 14, with those episodes split into two chapters. The split season is supposed to give Sheridan's upcoming series, The Tulsa King, the 1883 treatment. Season 4 aided in the launch of 1883, and the first half of Season 5 will aid in the introduction of the Sylvester Stallone-led drama. The second half will reportedly aid in the launch of the 1932 sequel. Next up, what can we expect Season 5 to touch on? The show will most likely pick up where the Season 4 cliffhangers left off, with a lot of drama involving Kelly Riley's Beth. Beth not only married her sometime boyfriend Rip, played by Cole Hauser in the season finale, but she also forced Jamie, played by Wes Bentley, to murder his biological father, Garrett, played by Will Patton. Beth seizes the opportunity to photograph Jamie disposing of the body, which means she now has blackmail material hanging over the man who is currently running for governor. Meanwhile, despite the fact that he appears to be running to prove a point to Jamie, John appears to be a better bet for the governor's race. John also waived ranch hand Jimmy's medical debt as a result of his rodeo injury, and Jimmy appears to be leaving this show to join the spin-off Four Sixes. Another prequel spin-off series, 1923, starring Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren, is in the works, but it's unclear whether any plot lines in Yellowstone will give way to that series this season. Now, if you can't seem to wait till November, November and need a Yellowstone fix, here are some great options to binge. While the mega-hit ranching drama has yet to be officially renewed for a fifth season, these highly bingeable shows will help fill the Montana-sized hole in our hearts and viewing schedules until the Duttons hopefully return triumphantly. First up, of course, 1883. Obviously, the film 1883 is about John Dutton's, Kevin Costner's, great-grandfather, James Dutton. James is the first Dutton to venture west, settling the Yellowstone, spoiler, shortly after the titular date. More than anything, the series demonstrates
illustrates why his descendant worked so hard to protect the land. If the territory required this much blood, sweat, and tears to settle, it must be defended at the same cost. Next up, Longmire. Longmire is based on Craig Johnson's Walt Longmire mystery series and follows a sheriff in a small Wyoming town. Sheriff Longmire, Robert Taylor, decides to rebuild his life and career after his wife's death, burying his past in his work. He collaborates with his friends and daughter to solve exciting major crimes in his community. The sheriff is helped by his longtime friend, Henry Standing Bear, Lou Diamond Phillips, a Cheyenne man who has experience dealing with tribal police. Netflix has all six seasons of Longmire available to watch. Another great show includes Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy follows a club of outlaw motorcycle individuals in the town of Charming, California, primarily through the eyes of Jackson Jax Teller. The show delves deeply into the racism, vigilantism, and corruption, all while Jax deals with his girlfriend Tara, along with his mother Gemma, and various motorcycle club members. A really great watch. Next, Warrior. What happens when you combine crime, drama, and martial arts? Warrior. This series follows Assam, a martial arts prodigy who emigrated from China to San Francisco in the 1870s and is inspired by Bruce Lee and produced by his daughter Shannon. Set right during the Tong Wars, a series of disputes between rival Chinese Tong factions in various American cities, Assam is sold to one of Chinatown's most powerful Tongs. Another show similar to Yellowstone includes Deadwood. This show is set in the late 1870s, takes place in Deadwood, South Dakota, and stars Timothy Oliphant, Molly Parker, Ian McShane, and Jim Beaver. The three-season show stars real-life historical figures such as Wyatt Earp, E.B. Farnham, Wild Bill Hickok, and George Crook, and is set in Deadwood before and after its annexation by the Dakota Territory. Justified. Now, next up we have Justified, which stars Timothy Oliphant as Raylan Givens, a no-nonsense deputy U.S. Marshal in Kentucky, and is based on the stories of American novelist and screenwriter Elmore Leonard. Raylan enacts his own brand of justice on felons over the course of six seasons with the aid of a large cast. Next up, Ozark. The fourth and last season of this Netflix hit has already returned and is ready to binge. Jason Bateman stars in this one as a financial advisor who is forced to relocate his family and wife Laura Linney to Missouri in order to launder money for a drug cartel. While the birds are not always as in command as the Duttons, their race to the top is insanely compelling. Paired with the epic cast, this is a must-see. And of course, The Mayor of Kingstown is a must-watch. Based in the fictional city of Kingstown, Michigan, and created by Taylor Sheridan, the co-creator of Yellowstone, Mayor of Kingstown follows the influential McCluskey family who make their own money through the prison system. The series is a thought-provoking crime drama that tackles the real issues of systemic racism, corruption, and inequality that are rampant in the prison system. It depicts the stark experiences that many people face across the country. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Yellowstone actor Jimmy and how the improvised scenes really went down. Now, make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Are you excited for Season 5? Will it answer a lot of those unanswered questions from Season 4? <laughs> we hope so. And as always, thanks for watching.